Okay, welcome back everybody. Uh, gonna be a quick video in and out because I've seen an issue that's been propagating around the internet and uh, I guess specifically concerning the uh, Springfield Prodigy 2011 double stack guns. Um, I guess there's some issues. I'm not privy to the issues. I don't own those guns. We're not gonna own those guns. That's not something we're interested in. But I have noticed there are a lot of you, even some 911 people supposedly, who don't know how to clear a jammed gun. So especially if you're at a public range where you have uh, rules or limitations on where you can turn and what you can do. So in particular, what's happening is, uh, I guess people are experiencing a situation where their gun is, maybe this, I, I, you know what, I'm not gonna say what it is, cause I'm- I haven't seen the guns, I don't know what it is, but basically the gun is locked up for some reason and they can't get the gun open. They're, they're racking it, they're racking it, they, they can't get it to work. So this is, there's a couple ways to do this depending on where you're at in your situation. And some of this won't work at a public gun range because you know they don't want you tearing up their, their facility. But obviously, not to harp on an old topic, but the reason why, one of the reasons why the original GI plug was such a good thing on 1911s is you could take it onto a corner or something something hard like a, like a ledge and you could force the gun open uh, that way and clear the gun. Um, the uh, other way is if you have a, the GI sight this works on GI guns or if you have a suppressor height sight because I've noticed some of these people they don't have um, they don't have regular uh, sights on their guns but they've got you know, they got suppressor height sights and so again guys are like I can't get this gun to get unlocked and there's suppressor height sights and it's like, dude, just use the suppressor sights. Same thing, you could rack it on, on a table, on a bench. You could even, depending on your situation, you know, maybe turn it down range and maybe the range masters wouldn't see it. You could rack it off your belt, okay? Now here's the one where people are getting in trouble. So let's say you don't have a red dot, you don't have suppressor height sights and you got a full length guide rod on your gun like a lot of these double stack guns do and people are not, they can't get the gun apart. So the trick is obviously number one, safety off. Number two, I suggest, pro tip, I suggest on an actual interior gun range or public gun range, take the magazine out of the gun. If you were in like a self-defense situation, I wouldn't necessarily take the magazine out of the gun, but take strip the mag out of the gun in case you drop the gun. So what you do is you wrap your hand over the top of the gun and you try to get it, I actually like to run my thumb on the slide and you need to try to hold as much of the slide as you can, not the frame. And you hold the gun tight and then you take your, your other hand, I'm not gonna say strong hand because I have a tip on that in a minute, and you basically run your hand into, into the gun. And this will actually open up most pistols. It's not really an issue. However, and this is gonna be important, there's a chance if you don't hold it tight enough with your support hand that you will send that gun flying down range or onto the floor. If you're at a public gun range and there's people shooting next to you and your gun bounces away, you're not gonna be able to go down there and get it and you're gonna get the side eye from your range safety officer. So if you are a right-handed shooter and you're strong with your right hand, it might benefit you to hold the gun with your strong hand and hit it with your weak hand because the most important thing is, especially in a public setting, is you want to hold that gun as tight as you can. So hopefully this will help some of you folks that are having some issues um, learning on how to open up a handgun on extremists. And if you want to see any more stories or pictures or links or nothing on the Springfield Prodigy, Please go to our website at john1911.com. That's john1911.com. Remember, it's all about shooting guns and clearing your malfunctions. Everybody, have a good day.